Okay, so if you're following along and you've found your way to this video, um, in this one I'm going to be using the 3 to one approach and the 5 W's and 1 H to explore some of the contexts that were released as part of the 2019 uh, NEA released on June the 1st. Okay, so please follow along and you'll see how this kind of technique can be applied uh, to a range of contexts and hopefully then you'll be able to use it on your own context. Okay, so if you're still with us, uh, I'm going to start doing some brainstorming, effectively, or mind mapping as you might call it, uh, for some of the contexts uh, that we've seen before, okay, so from last year. So the three contexts from last year were providing a safe and comfortable home, uh, working towards a sustainable future, and a high-profile celebrity event or occasion, I believe it was, okay? So we're gonna start by just choosing uh, one of these, and I think it was, personally, from my, my personal feelings, the, the hardest or the most uh, uh, abstract of the three things, which was the high profile event. So I'm gonna start by just typing or writing the, uh, the, the context in brief in the middle of the page, okay? We don't have to worry too much about formatting and stuff, in my opinion, at this point. We can always go on and uh, tidy these up later. So the first thing we're gonna do is discuss the where, okay? The where that these might occur. So I'm just gonna come up with three things, three, two, one approach, three things to start off. So the first one is where could this occur? Well, it could be a concert. That could be a high profile event that we could discuss. Um, it could be a charity event. And it could be a celebration. So let's say Christmas. Okay, so it could be a Christmas celebration or any other sort of celebration uh, in this particular sentence. Now, we've come up with the where, and underneath what we're going to do is come up with the who to go with this. Okay, so the concert, who might be our um, uh, consumer? Well, it might be a concert goer, effectively. Okay, so somebody goes to a concert. Okay, uh, the charity event, it could be, for example, let me think a promoter, somebody who wants to kind of promote the event uh, or something like this and at Christmas we're going to go for some sort of family member okay so it might be brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, whatever it is that you feel uh, that you want to discuss on this particular case but there we go we've got one consumer and we've got one place for three different uh, areas there so let's now look at the next branch and we're going to branch out twice from each of these points okay so there we go we're going to just branch out from this and we're going to now think of a problem um, which obviously is the sort of how this problem affects us in those different contexts so the first one the concert goer what might be a problem well actually promoting the event might be uh, an issue, so promotion of the event. That might be something we're gonna try and uh, do in a better way. Uh, we might need to sell tickets, okay? So as well as being problems, there are also things that just we need to do within these these cases. So this, this concert goer might not be selling the tickets, that might be the, the promoter as well, for example, but there we go, we're thinking about different ways. Now, for the charity, we could, okay, we might need to raise awareness uh, that could be something we need to think about, okay? And we might also perhaps need what well, we need to raise money effectively for the uh, the actual charity or the cause itself. And then let's look at Christmas. Um, there might be a big family gathering, for example. So we might need to think about okay, seating all these individuals, and we might need to think about cleaning up. Okay, normally these gatherings require. Uh, you know, cleaning up after a meal or some sort of event or something like this, or even just tidying up the house, I suppose, afterwards. Okay, so we've now done stage one, which is our free, which is this bit. We've come up with where these things are uh, happening, so within high profile event, where these might be problems, and we've got an idea of free consumers there or free potential clients that we could use. We've then gone out and we've come up with two um, separate problems okay so what the problems are or how they're problems for example coming out from that okay so we've already come up with that and as you can see we've already populated our mind map there with nine different um, areas to kind of look into so it's already getting us into the process quite nicely now all we've got to do is done stage three we've done stage two we're going to just do stage one so we're just going to come up with one potential solution or product that could help alleviate this issue so how do we promote the event we might do a poster or a flyer, okay? So I've got my first kind of direction. I could do a project to do with 
creating posters or flyers to promote uh, concerts, for example. I might need to sell tickets, so I could actually design the ticket itself, okay? It might be something that I need to focus on. A really well-designed uh, ticket might help to uh, promote the event as well, uh, as well as keep the, the fan incited by some use of uh, nice imagery and things like this, and it's what they're gonna expect for uh, paying all the money for this, this product. Okay, if we move on to charity event, uh, we need to raise awareness of the charity. So we might, for example, perhaps have a product of a, a t-shirt with some uh, sort of slogans or branding or something on it to kind of help promote the thing. We sell these products, we get people to wear them, it, it shares the message. To raise money, we might want to actually have some sort of a collection or donation box, uh, which kind of takes us through um, uh, to you know all of, all of these designs for products that can help us to, to uh, raise money for the charity itself uh, and then moving on to Christmas and family our last one before we kind of move on to this uh, seating well uh, you know chairs and tables I suppose could be potential products uh, that we can create so chairs and tables and for cleaning up perhaps we need some sort of washing up uh, tool or device, you know, sponges and cloths and things like this, okay? So what we've got here already is we've got nine potential starting points for the project and we've only probably taken, oh sorry, not nine, six, I can't count, six potential starting points for the project and it gives us a very good start to the thing, okay? Let's have a go and see if we can do this for another context. Let's just get rid of this, okay? So the second context that uh, we're gonna talk about from the last year's would be, um, I think it was something along the lines of providing, uh, or working towards a sustainable future. So we'll just call this sustainable future like this, sustainable future, pop it in the middle like this, and again, we'll come up with the three uh, places where uh, sustainability might be an issue. So I'm gonna go with waterways, uh, landfill sites, there's issues there, and we're gonna go for a uh, park, okay? We go for walks in the park and stuff. There's obviously environmental and sustainability issues that we need to think about. And I'm being a bit liberal with the, the term sustainability because it always relates to the environment. So we can always be quite creative with how we're coming up with some of these things, okay? So what are some of the problems? Well, we're gonna branch out. We're gonna come up with two again for each of these. Okay, so waterways themselves, um, the fact that I suppose animals and um, uh, sea creatures and things can get trapped or poisoned by uh, waste. Uh, and things like this this uh, is a is a big issue okay and also with waterways we'll go with pollution okay so actual uh, things being dumped in the ocean and stuff which shouldn't be there which pollute and cause additional problems uh, with wildlife and habitats and things like this okay for the landfill site we're going to go for uh, incineration okay so obviously a lot of landfill gets incinerated um, and the actual fumes generate for this obviously are sort of greenhouse uh, gases okay so again I'm adding a bit to this I don't need to go into too much detail at the moment but you can do if that's you kind of find yourself down a rabbit hole and kind of you're interested in a particular topic you can do that you don't have to stop and anything like this and the other thing I'm going to say is the idea of non recyclables okay so we do find that you know non recyclables find them themselves uh, at landfill and there's problems with, I don't know, heavy metals and uh, batteries and things like this going into the landfill. Again, I'm, I'm kind of over emphasizing the point. We'll, we'll kind of move on a little bit from this, okay? Park, uh, we could say littering is a problem at the park, people dropping rubbish around. And we'll also say on the, the idea of kind of rubbish, but slightly different types of uh, rubbish, the idea of dog waste and the collection of dog waste. So once again, we've done our three, there's our three locations, uh, parks, waterways, landfill sites. What we didn't think about here is consumers, but you, you get the idea we need a consumer with this. It could be, for example, uh, I don't know, so a, a, a boat owner might be our consumer for the waterways for a landfill site it might actually be the might be the director or something like this at the landfill site and the park is probably going to be a, a perhaps a dog walker something like this okay people who use the parks quite often so we've done our three we've done our two so we've come up with two problems within each of these areas there we go there's our one two problems for each one okay and now we've got to come up with solutions so how do we uh, solve the problems of animals and trapped uh, or getting trapped or being poisoned uh, it could be a redesign of some packaging so 
you know one of the, the the things that I'm thinking about with this is we see the images of uh, sea creatures and birds and things with their their necks caught in ring pools and stuff I believe this has kind of been touched upon there's there's been some efforts to redesign this product but again it's still a, a poignant if issue at the moment I think as well and pollution will say or what could we say to, to try and solve this problem perhaps um, some idea of I don't know I've just got the idea of nets in my mind so that people could go and collect waste and polluted items and things that are, that are fallen in the waterway so it's the idea of collection of some of this waste that might pollute the environment um, in terms of landfill uh, the idea of incineration fumes, well, ideally, I suppose, if we could uh, stop things going to landfill, um, then that would uh, improve it. So we could do a project, something to do with uh, recycling, perhaps uh, the idea of uh, waste packaging or something like that. So some sort of uh, recyclable or even upcycled packaging could be an interesting uh, product there. And the idea of non-recyclables, um, again, it could be, again, another maybe a packaging sort of thing. Um, focusing on packaging here unfortunately but packaging and we could be including sort of SPI codes or information to the uh, consumer uh, so that uh, they know how to responsibly, uh, you know, uh, d dispose of waste and things, I suppose. Yeah. And then we move on to the last two problems, dog waste and littering within the environment of parks. So the idea of littering, we can solve that maybe or help it by having some sort of design for a bin. And dog waste, finally, uh, perhaps, I don't know, we encourage unions to, to use bags or, or tools to help collect uh, dog waste and stuff like that. So there we go. We've got the starting point for the second context. And again, as you can see this has been quite a quick um, process hopefully it's not too uh, demanding at this point we're just kind of starting off with this and we can always add to it later so let's go on to our third one from last year and our third topic was safe and comfortable homes so we'll just call this safe comfortable home Oh, my handwriting is appalling. There we go, safe, comfortable home, but it's supposed to be a quick process, so that's fine as long as we can kind of read it, get an idea. We can always tidy this up later or put it on a PowerPoint or something if we wish. So again, three to one approach. We're gonna start by free environments, quite easy for a home environment. I personally like this uh, context from last year, so we're just gonna go for kitchen, bedroom, and garden still kind of technically part of the home and who would be our users in these places well the kitchen would be the cook presumably for the household or it could be a, a professional cook i suppose if people have a chef or cook at home some people are privileged enough to have this great um for the bedroom i'm going to I could choose pretty much anyone, but I'm going to choose a child, okay, who's uh, obviously got a bedroom, and uh, in the garden, uh, you know, the person or the employee who is a gardener, for example, okay, so we've got gardener, cook, and bedroom, and we've done our free our first step in the process. We're going to then come out and come up with two problems within each of these things, as we've done before. So in the kitchen, uh, we've got a problem perhaps where we've got knives, um, sharp knives on show and always there's a fire risk in the kitchen I suppose as well because you're using uh, heat and uh, tools that generate heat and things like this. In the bedroom it's probably likely that uh, our child is potentially going to have maybe some issues with sleep if he's a young child or she's a young child and there's a risk I suppose of potential accidents and uh, you know we the idea of monitoring or accidents or something could be uh, something on our minds, I suppose, as a parent, okay? And the idea of garden, we're gonna go for green waste in this particular case, and we're also gonna talk about the idea of weeds, okay? The constant bane of the gardener is getting rid of weeds. So we're now down at our stage two, and we've come up with uh, six problems there, okay? And now what we're gonna do is come up with some solutions. So starting off with knives, we could maybe have some sort of knife rack or block or something like this to kind of uh, help design that. For fire, uh, hopefully it wouldn't happen but if it did happen we might uh, need some sort of fire blanket or an extinguisher or something along those lines uh, for our bedroom uh, we want to encourage our child to sleep so there's lots of uh, toys that we could create probably to help us uh, to the, the child to get into routines and help them to sleep easier and in terms of accidents well some sort of baby monitoring system uh, might be helpful so we can keep an eye on the child and prevent these accidents from happen and finally within the garden context for green waste uh, let's say uh, I'm focusing on bins but let's say we could create some sort of bin for disposing of garden waste and to remove weeds we might do it with some sort of tool like a, a, a digging tool or something like this shovels and spades and things like this they might help the garden so there we go I've just gone through three 
contexts using the three to one approach okay and also using the five w's and one h okay hope they've been useful to see the the process illustrated like that and good luck if you're embarking on your uh, new nea for this year